Hello, welcome to Late Night Creations. My name is Kendra, and this video is going to be a tutorial on how to make a tassel and a finger bow, requested by a viewer. So here is the tassel and the finger bow we're gonna make in this video, and it is slowed down in real time. So this is the twine, baker's twine. It's a little thicker baker's twine we're gonna use, and some regular little thin twine. And I'm going, I usually use that squeegee, but I'm showing you that you can use some, just some little cardboard or anything that you have, and you're going to make it as long as you want your tassel to be. Now I'm going to take this twine and I'm going to hold it at the bottom and I'm going to wrap it around and as many times until it gets as thick as I want my tassel to be. And I'm gonna, going to keep it pretty taut on this piece of cardboard as my little spool rolls around all over my desk. <laughs> but I'm going slow so that you can see exactly what I'm doing. I'm just wrapping it, wrapping it, wrapping it. So I'm going to make it, you know, fairly full. And then I'm going to cut it at the bottom. So that will be where the bottom of my tassel is. Now, normally I would use that baker's, same baker's twine, but for video purposes, so you can see what I'm doing, I'm gonna use this uh, other twine so that it, you can see the contrast, so that you can see what I'm doing. Now I'm gonna slide this underneath at the top. Well, I start kinda right there because it's easier to get it through, but then I'm going to slide it all the way up to the top and this is just that twine you get in the automotive section at Dollar Tree. This little thin twine. And then I'm gonna tie it in a knot right up there at the very tippy top of th that baker's twine. And I'm gonna tie it really tight. Gather it all up and tie it really tight. And I'm keeping that, those loose, two loose pieces pulled down because they're gonna, they're gonna be part of the tassel. I'm gonna tie it really tight. Now normally I will put a little drop of super glue in there, not hot glue because hot glue will get thick and clumpy. And then we will just keep that on there because we may need to use that later. I'll explain that a little later. Um, and now we're going to slide this off very carefully because we want to keep it as intact as we can. So slide that off and keep it in its shape. Now again I'm going to use the natural looking twine instead of the baker's twine. I would normally use the uh, same color but I'm going to use the contrasting so you can see what I'm doing. We're just going to cut off a little length of it and I'm going to put it behind. Lay it down behind. Now this is the way I do it. You can do it however you want, whatever works best for you. But I'm going to go down just a little ways from the top and I'm going to tie it in a half knot, just a slip knot right there. And then get it right where I want it. And then just tie it pretty tight right there. And then I'm just going to start wrapping it around. But those long strings kind of get in my way. I'm trying to figure out how to keep them out of my way right here. But that doesn't work either. But the thing was that long one was in my way, so I just snipped them even and then it worked out fine. So I'm going to do one around and then the other one around. This is just how I do it. That works good for me. And then I have my two tails that I can tie in a knot. I'm going to tie this really tight in a knot. And then I'm going to drop a little piece, just a little drop of super glue right in that knot because I'm gonna, do you see that I'm cutting that really close to the knot? I do not want that twine to slip out. So I'm just gonna use some regular old super glue and just put a drop down in that knot. Same as that on top, just in case I wanna cut that down. Now I'm gonna pull this Okay, I'm going to trim off all that little fuzz because that's driving me crazy apparently. Now I'm going to pull this all taut again and I'm going to try to get that all of those loops. We want all of those loops around our finger 
because we're going to put our scissors through there and we want to cut all of those loops the same length. Oh, you can see right there that there's one loop that is not in there. So I need to figure out how to get it in there. Okay. You can just slide your scissors in there if you want to, but I just like to put my finger in there. Okay. And that super glue is sticking to me. So I'm going to pull it really nice and taut and there we go. And there your tassel is made. I like to shake it out a little bit and just pull it, kind of comb it with my fingers and voila. Now my ends never come out perfect. I always have a couple little stragglers. So I like to give it a little haircut. You know, I'm a hairstylist, so you know, I'm always giving something a little haircut. Um, that was a little bit too thick for my scissors to cut, so I needed to spread it out just a little bit and just trim those ends off so that they're all nice and even. And that little tassel is done. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay. Now, if you want to put this on a beaded garland or, oh, there was a little fat piece of that twine. Um, you could put this on a garland. You could put this, whatever you're going to use this tassel for. I'm showing you that you could, you could have done this before you tied it up. But, you know, I do everything kind of the difficult way. But you can slide your twine or yarn or... If you're going to put it on a banner, you could slide something through that top loop and there you could have it hanging like that. Or you could tie that twine that I have through that loop. You could tie it around the top of it. I did not show you that on camera. Um, you could do that and then you would just cut those two long pieces of twine off or you could take those two pieces of twine and tie it onto your beaded garland or whatever you're putting your tassel on. And then you would just cut that off right there. And then I would probably put another little drop of super glue there so it doesn't come undone. Okay, that's the tassel. Good deal. Now on to the finger bow. I'm going to do one with this twine and then I'm going to do one with the other twine. This one will be a very simple one. We're going to start out with it and I'm just going to, this is the, the size that I'm going to make. You can make it smaller or bigger. I'm going to use three fingers and I'm going to wrap it around two times. And then I'm going to leave a long tail and I'm going to cut that long tail. And then I'm going to take that tail and I am going to poke it right where my middle finger would be. But I'm going to leave a loop on top of my middle finger. See that loop? And then as that piece goes down, I'm pulling it up and I'm going on top and bringing it and poking it in. You like my good vocabulary I'm using? Do you see that? Not toward yourself, but on top of it. And then Pull your tail the way that you, away from you, the way you, the boat, you want the tail of the bow to go. And make sure that you're right in the middle of your two loops. And voila. You have a cute little finger bow to put on your project. Okay, now let's make one with the, with the other twine. So, same thing, but we're going to wrap it around a bunch of times so you can make a a bow with more loops. Okay, wrap it, wrap it, wrap it. Okay, let's do this again. Cut your long tail. Okay, I'm trying to figure out. Don't want to wrap it around again. No, poke it down in that where your middle finger would go. There's my loop. And then up and over the top and through and pull it and pull it tight. You need to pull it really tight. The opposite way so that your you will have your tails and there you go you can fluff it a little bit and get rid of all that extra stuff that comes along with the twine you could put a little bow on top of that bow but here we go let's trim off that little excess tail and there's your bow and your tag 
And remember, friends, to be still and know that He is God. Thanks for watching.